Julia here. Recently, I've been receiving a lot of questions about formatting your book, should you pay someone else to do it, what are the pros and cons, all that good stuff. So today, I'm gonna to be talking about the pros and cons of formatting your own story. Now, I have experience both ways. I formatted the scavenger myself, and then I paid for the same company that did the cover design of Missing Her to also format it. So I've seen the pros and cons of both. So I'm gonna go through each side with you and hopefully give you some tips so you can make an educated decision on what would work best for you. So let's jump into it. First off, I'm gonna go over the pros of each. So let's go over the pros of doing it yourself. The first and most obvious pro of doing it yourself is saving money. Formatting a lot of times can cost a hundred or several hundred dollars depending on who you're going with, and it saves you a lot of money if you just do it yourself. As long as you have a Microsoft Word program, you can download a template from Ingram Spark or KDP and format it yourself. That way, all you gotta do is copy and paste all that good stuff in there and then do whatever you'd like with it. The second pro about doing it yourself is you have complete creative control. You control what it looks like, you control exactly the spacing, the page count, everything that you want, it's up to you. The third pro is that you can make changes anytime you want. So if you go through someone else or another company, you have to have the manuscript completely done, completely finished, spotless, because a lot of times they're gonna charge you if you need to change it. But if you have it yourself and you notice a minor typo or a, I don't know, misspelling or something's wrong on one of the pages, it's really easy for you to go in and change it yourself at no additional cost. So those are some of the pros of doing formatting yourself. Now let's go to the pros of having someone else do it for you. So the pros of paying someone to do it saves you a lot of time. All you gotta do is send off your stuff, give them some of the guidelines, and you're good to go. You don't really have to spend any additional time on it except for looking through it and making sure it looks good. But even if you have changes to make, it's up to them and it's pretty done once you send it off. If you use a good company, they should have a pretty quick turnaround time. Formatting doesn't take nearly as long as cover design usually uh, because with cover design there's usually a ton of iterations. But again, if you get a good formatting company, if you give them very specific guidelines and everything, they should turn it around pretty quickly. The other pros of paying someone else to do it is that they have a really good understanding of industry standards, what's popular in genres, things like that. That way you don't have to do that research on your own. It might seem pretty straightforward just copy and paste a bunch of text onto a page, but it's actually a lot more complicated than that. I learned that myself. And a lot of times if you don't have a clear vision in your head, it could come out looking kind of bland. Formatting, you need to find kind of a happy medium where it looks interesting and engaging, but it's not too over the top or too pretty because then it's gonna distract your reader. Some people love pretty interiors and creative interiors. I prefer something that's simple, but has a little bit of like a creative twist or a creative edge to it. For example, Missing Her I think is pretty awesome. In Missing Her, the standard text is pretty standard. It's normally what you see, but I needed to have a uh, different parts throughout. So for example, the first part is called Eliza, and I don't want to spoil the other parts in case you haven't read it, but uh, I wanted to have something creative like that, and I loved the cursive and like the handwritten font. It's very cool. So there you go. Now let's go on to the cons. First up, the cons of doing it yourself. First off, it takes forever. I literally had no idea how much time it would take to get it perfectly. I'm a perfectionist and oh my gosh, so frustrating. When I was doing the scavenger, I found out about halfway through formatting that there were different sized indents. I have no idea how it happened, but it did. And all of the indents were different sizes. So I had to individually go through my entire manuscript and change the indent sizes. The same thing happened for spaces. I have no idea what happened, but literally every space throughout the book, I had to go and double check and see. I don't, I don't, I can't, even explain what happened. So for me to, ex I can't explain it, but just be careful when you're copying and pasting because like I said, something like that could happen and it could be a disaster. The second thing is sometimes you start formatting and then you mess up something, you accidentally delete a space or you delete a page by accident and then you realize that your whole thing is messed up. I did that when I attempted to format A Weighted Soul for like a day. I was like, oh, let me try to format it myself. And then it was, it was not good. 
it was a disaster. So basically the main cons of doing it yourself are the actual work and time that go into it because you could be spending that time doing a lot of other things, preparing for the release and just overall living your life. Now let's go over the cons of paying. So con number one, obviously it's expensive. It takes money to pay someone to do the formatting yourself. It depends on the company you go through, uh, but for Demanza, the company that designed the cover of Missing Her, I wanna say it was 125. It may have been more, but I feel like it I feel like it was 125. But again, for some companies it's more, some companies it's less. You just have to look into it. The other con is you have to be extra, extra careful that your manuscript is complete and fully finished when you send it off. Because a lot of times companies will charge you if you have to make edits later on. It's a pain in the neck, but you have to be sure that that's complete. Adding on to that, because of that, you have to be super, super organized with your timing, with your like how you're ordering things and all that good stuff. Because if you don't do your final professional or just final edit before you send it off to formatting, there's like no point because once it's been formatted, it's such a pain in the neck to go back to change things. So you have to make sure your time is, is correct. You have to make sure your edits are complete. You have to make sure you've sent it off to the professional editor, made sure you've had enough time to get it back and then start formatting it. It's a lot. It's a lot. Now, overall, if you're asking yourself, Julia, that's a lot of information, but which do you prefer? For me, I prefer paying someone else to format it. I found that over time, there are things that you can save money on when it comes to writing a book and publishing it. For me, I don't have any graphic design experience. I'm an engineer, so like this is totally out of my range. I just found it very frustrating and very difficult to manipulate. But if you're able to do it, then good on you. Uh, save some money for some other things, and then you can do this yourself. But for me, even though there are pros and cons to each, I just find paying someone else to do it is a lot easier. I tried to simplify it for you guys so I wasn't rambling on for too long, but please let me know if you need me to expand on anything or if you have any additional questions. Let me know in the comments and I'll be glad to answer them for you. Thank you guys for stopping by. Bye!